So we're doing a quick look at, um, we had a look at a couple of weeks ago at the idea of using a, um, a different part, a container root part to essentially route taxonomies or items that are contained in a bag part. Um, so take a look at it again. It's been merged into the auto root part. Wait, 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 wait. Last time you showed us the taxonomy routing and it was working, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'll show you the same, but working as part of auto route. As part of auto route. Okay. Um, so if we start with taxonomies, for example. I don't remember when we talked about it. Can you refresh my memory and say why as part of the two rounds? We, we talked about it, I'm sure, like, do we do two parts? Or do, and I, oh, sorry, I told you to do a single part. Thank you, yeah. that's, good. that's a good reason. <laughs> and just, just because okay. I forgot, I'm sure everyone else forgot, okay, not you. It's just because otherwise people will be so confused about all these parts just to have a URL that they will never know which one to use. So that's why I'm saying let's use a single part, the other route part, with more options. Good, good job, Dean. Thank you. So that's what we've got is the auto route part with with more options. Wow. Um, so if we look at say the um, the settings for it on our taxonomy we have an auto route now and you have a setting here to say whether or not you know, will route contained items whether whether you're allowed to so whether the user is allowed to to check the box um, and then you have another setting for whether the auto route can also manage items that are contained um, and when you select that, you also get an option for whether or not they are allowed to use absolute paths or whether paths should always be routed through the parents route. Um, so you get those settings and then when you actually come to your taxonomy, for example, or your bag path, um, you get the option to either enable that or disable that. Um, when we when we apply the same auto route part to the term content itself, which I haven't done on this one because I did yeah, another one. Everything makes sense now because it's an auto route part and you can add it to a taxonomy in a term. It's beautiful. So it's easy. Um, so when we publish this one, um, what you would have seen there is that. The, um, the term part itself doesn't have an auto root part on it, so we just automatically generate a root for it um, based on the content item ID and the display text to begin with. If we want to make those a little bit nicer, we could look at, say, this bag part here. Let's just view it. You can have a night. Wow. So you can have this one, which is just rooted completely automatically. Or you can have this one where the bag item has an auto root part on it. Um, you can choose to refresh it. You can choose to make it absolute. And you could also continue to write uh, root contained items um, that were contained inside this. So you could have multiple nested if you wanted to. Might be going a little bit far. Uh, but if we look at the page that this generates, we end up with items that are just rooted with a, a content item ID or items that are auto rooted. And in this case, they're rooted container first, then the. But it uh, could be anything. It could be anything. Too or much we could go absolute, and we'll just, um, you know, wow. just. 
And you could even make it the home page if you really wanted to. You can? Um, yeah, I, I do need to actually do a little bit of work on that, but it would be possible. I'm not sure if it makes sense, but it'd be possible. Yeah, it always makes sense for someone. Yeah, someone will always want it. Um, yeah, so that's that's what we've got. Wow. It's very uh, good. And really the questions are about um, kind of the options that um, you can set on the... So my first impression of the options was that I don't understand what they do. So That's they, fair enough, because I don't understand so, what they do half the time. So they, they will need much more detail in the in in the hint about examples, because like, what's the container? What's the, I don't know, pattern? How, what will it look like? What if I check that? What happens, you know? Like a low contain item routing. I'm like, oh, is that what I think it is? Or? What does that even mean? <laughs> That's why we need better examples on the right. Uh, that's good. Yeah, I mean, Just, I think it's going to need a, a good set of docs because, um, I mean, you can't screw it up, but you can screw it up. Yeah. Or people will not understand that you can do that just by looking at a checkbox, maybe. Yeah. Um, or what if you check one and not the other, or like manage content contain item routes, check to load this part to configure routes when the content item is contained. Yeah, is it just showing more options in the editor, which I think it is, or is it just showing an editor at all? So it's a, it's a combination of showing more options, um, plus in order to validate routes correctly, um, you need to know whether it's um, a contained item or a, a parent item. Um, and because when the update, when the display driver runs, um, it doesn't know whether it's stuck inside a, another content item or um, whether it's whether it's not. Uh, so when it wants to do a SQL query, it, it just it, it doesn't know. So because we've kept that um, kind of separation between those um, reasonably strong, um, so there's no kind of property that it can go. Oh, am I am I contained inside another one or am I just mm -hmm. um, appearing? Um, so we need to know that specifically for um, for checking um, validation. Because um, one of the one of the things that happens, which is unfortunate, but there's not much of a workaround for it. Um, if you're um, editing here, for example, we can't validate a lot of these paths. If they're not absolute, we can't validate these paths until this parent here is published. Okay. Um, so, because, like I said, it doesn't know what it's contained in. There is also a, a typo, if you go uh, at the bottom, check to enabling the routing. Is it English? Just just the one typo? Um, I'm fixing your English because you're not from England, right? Excellent. I think we could probably use that. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm hesitant to put too much more detail in the hints there, um, but it does need some and, and some good documentation because um, not everybody understands the concept of container and contained. Yeah. It's a very orchard concept, I think. Too technical. But yeah, just a, a little demo, little guide and maybe some better hint to uh, with concrete examples like yeah. slash, slash slash just to show people like slash blue slash light blue slash super light blue and people will understand oh i see that's that's that or something else i don't know but um, yeah something like that could work um, yeah. i did consider using um you can see it here um using something like this as an indicator for whether it's an absolute or not, but I think that would probably be confusing for the, the oh, content so, editors. Yeah. They won't yeah. understand. Yeah. Um, where the developers might, but the developers will not be the people putting these routes in. Um, yeah, so that's that. That's, that's, that's great. what we see. Thank you. Thanks a lot.
So I will be able to delete the, the branch I made two years ago or something like that about routing taxonomy. Yeah. And all the complexity, the complex solutions I had in mind. Well, they're, they're borrowed from some of your solutions. Um, so um, there's probably still a few things to talk about on, the, on some of the designs, for example. Um, there's a, for example, the liquid um, event handler where you would um, retrieve a content item um, in your liquid template. Um, that probably has the possibility to also retrieve a contained item now as well. Um, and things like the annuals part, but we can look at them later, I think. Okay. I also wonder how you did that with the routing system or the endpoint routing. Um, just with auto route entries, actually. Okay. Um, so it remains part of the same transformer, um, and we just we just, we just put the root values in. Um, as you can can see here, it, we can also generate those root values um, when we're using um, the display helpers. That's great. Good job. Thanks a lot. No trouble.